So, torch down. I want to show you a roof, a patch I did about seven years ago. This is the patch I did about seven years ago, okay? It's a torch down and I went over an existing torch down. This is the old one, this is a new one. And you cannot tell, this is looks like not even done a few months ago. It looks still new. That's how good this is. So now we're going to do the rest of the roof because it's leaking. You know, you can see what other people have done. Nailed, tar. So it's time to get this roof done. And uh, we're going over it. And uh, when you see bubbles like this, see this? You cut them to lay them flat so you can go straight over it. There's another one there. We'll cut that and make it flat. All right. So this is a process. Uh, in this case, I'm going to torch, try to torch straight over the torch down I have here currently, so I don't have to put a base down. So I'm going to get started. When I put the material down, I don't. I cannot torch straight to this. I'm going to show you what I do. Instead of torching straight to this, we. Uh, we're putting um, a car neck down. Modified by two men adhesive. Car neck 81. I don't know why the label changed, but that's what it is. Alright, let me show you. I roll this back like this. to overheat the old surface this is very hard and dry so I gotta overheat it so it will melt to it okay <laughs> Otherwise the metal will start bending like that when it gets hot. Look there. And that's it. I got a nice... Because the roof, that existing roof is bad, like this one with all the tar on the seams, you see the tar, just because it's bad doesn't mean you should take it off. The reason I never take a roof off, this is the best, best surface to torch to. It's a modified bitumen and I'm torching a modified bitumen and I'm fusing the two together. I want to show you what, even if this roof was not installed properly, the old one, if you use that as your base, you're going to have the best roof. So never strip an old modified by human roof. Never. I'm going to show you why. Check this out. Let me see if I can um, cut this open. Oh, that is so tough to cut this open. First of all, it is super, super thick. I don't think I can cut it open. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can cut it open. Let's see. Look how good this roof is. I cannot get it up. I cannot get it up. That's how good this roof is.
All right. First of all, that's how tough it is. Look at this thickness there. Look at this thickness. You cannot beat this. Let me cut this out. That was hard to do. All right. Fuse together the old roof and a new roof. You cannot beat this. This is the best. All right. So. I don't recommend stripping any roof. If you have a torch down or an old modified and it's leaking, just use that as the surface and you'll have the best, best roof. There's nothing that can beat this. Nothing. There's nothing, no EPDM, no TPO, no, there's no other system that can beat this. Nothing. This is the best. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna make a patch. I'll make a patch. I'll show you. you want me to show you a patch? Cut me a square. All right. People want me to cut the corners like that, round the corners. You want that as motor? No. So you make the round corners like this. All right. That's what. All right, so you put the patch over that. You want that? No. Exactly what it should look like. A little bit smaller patch, but you get the idea. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Talking about torches. Everybody has a torch. What I've been using is the Magnum torches. Let me show you. Magnum torches. I use Magnum for detail. See this Magnum? That's a Magnum. It's supposed to have a self-igniter, but uh, yeah. That's too big. Yeah, the head's too big. You don't have a smaller head. And, well, I do, but it's in the car. So that's detailing around AC curves. Yeah. Now the heads are interchangeable. And it's interchangeable head. Yep. So you can get a smaller head. Yep. And that's the gun. Or my striker. It's really nice. When yeah. they work, they're they're amazing. Nothing yeah. like it. So my son likes it. I liked it. I used it, but they, they break. Yeah, they, they do. They're they, fragile. They break easy. They're so very I, fragile. I, I'm so rough on a torch. My son would not even lend me his torches. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> All right, so that's a different torch, a Raptor or a Magnum. So he cuts his round corners, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Now that's got a pinch in like that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to squeeze it in there. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Now the reason they don't like the light sometimes oh. is because it's like a venturi. Air enters there with propane. Oh. And that's what makes it so powerful. And so sometimes it gives too much air for the striker itself, so you have to close the air oh. and pressurize it. Oh. But it doesn't always work. See? Oh. No air? Air. Oh, yeah, see? Do, when you want to do detailed work around AC units or drains, you need a small torch. Now, this Raptor head is a little bit big. It has. Yeah. I don't know if you everything, but yeah. Huh? I don't I think, think it's everything, but yeah. I think it's going to finish. I think I'm going to finish. 
So, what is that about those meat pads? Why are they square? Oh, these? Yeah, that's for TPO? No, these are, they're, they're just called, they're for flooring. For flooring? Yeah, and they're called pro-knees. And they're the smallest version they make, which is pretty funny. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be comfortable, but... Are they? For sure. Huh? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I spent a hundred dollars. They better be comfortable. Hundred dollars? Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, that's not bad. The other ones are like two hundred fifty. Okay. But they're bigger. They they strap onto your calf. But I don't know. All right. They work pretty good. Yeah. They look like they're TPO. Vinny thought I made it myself. <laughs> he said, you, you know, we clean them with weather membrane cleaner. <laughs> Son, everything, nothing eyeball, everything is done right. See, with a chalk line. Nice. Perfectionist. <laughs> oh. You 26? 27. 27. So you've been doing it since you were 16. No, come on. 16. Never. <laughs> I don't work. <laughs> even more Just like that. I like to pull the side of the trowel because it feels like it's stronger and you work like that just like that. Just like that. So. Changed the bucket, they couldn't find it for a couple weeks in the warehouse. It's weird, huh?
thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Blah blah blah. Do you think it's okay that 